had to do a skit. So we had to do like a 30 second commercial. There was a couple of different bears on the side of the conference table and we each had to go up in front of everyone and do a little skit basically selling the bear itself. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do something a little bit different today. A couple years ago, I used to work at build a -Bear Workshop in Manhattan in New York City, and I wanted to talk about my experience because in terms of retail jobs, I definitely feel like it was one of the better ones that I had. So this was years ago, and obviously this was prior to the pandemic, the shutdown. So they might not be hiring currently at the moment, who knows? This is just gonna be a resource once things are back to normal. So when I arrived at Build-A-Bear for my interview, it was actually a group interview, so there was a couple other people who were also waiting on the sales floor to go in and have an interview. So once it was time, we all went into a big conference room. We all sat down with the general manager who was super nice. She basically asked each of us to say a couple words. We all went around the table, all that stuff. And then we had to do a skit. So we had to do like a 30 second commercial there was a couple of different bears on the side of the conference table and we each had to go up in front of everyone and do a little skit basically selling the bear itself so all the bears were decorated differently there's a lot of cute outfits in build a bear it's a very customizable process and now that the years have passed there's more like pokemon that are available and there's rumors that there's going to be an animal crossing one which i would absolutely love um, i'm a big lover of stuffed animals that's why i wanted to work at build a bear back then so after you go up there's like feedback she's like oh that's great cool great they just want you to sell the bear um, even if you know nothing about build a bear or the process um, So after that we went back to sitting down and it was more questions like they like to know your past experience um, With other jobs or times where you've had difficult customers Basic questions like that. What's your biggest weakness? Um, it's a fun interview It's a very good to play off of everyone else's answers. So that was my first time I think having a group interview normally. It's just solo. I liked it except for the commercial um, It's cheesy, but you just have to do it. So in the end not everyone was hired This was during the holiday season So I think like four or five of us out of like eight were hired and once we were hired the training process began Which is basically just going there and either shadowing someone they were primarily looking for us to learn how to stuff the bears. So at Build a Bear, when you walk in, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of bears and animals that are not stuffed yet, and then guests will choose it. They'll take it to the big stuffing machine, and then you're there to stuff it for them. You perform a heart ceremony, and that's something that they'll also teach you on that first day. Basically, the guests will choose a heart. There's a beating heart that's like three dollars and fifty cents, and there's a normal heart. They'll make a wish. You'll do a little ceremony with the kids, like you'll be like rub the heart to give it a pulse, rub it on your forehead so the bears as smart as you rub it on your muscles so they're as strong as you you kind of customize it based on the child um at least that's what they teach you to do and then they make a wish they kiss it and they place it in the bear and then you sew it up and there's also customizable options like they can choose a scent and when they choose a scent it's like this little heart shaped thing that you open you rub on the outside of the bear and you put it in the inside of the bear as well they tell you to pitch it as um it being super long lasting like the scents like there's cotton candy scents there's really fun weird ones like popcorn and pizza but i don't think that scent lasts a long time that's the only thing i don't like about builder bears that they make you upsell so they want you to add either a sound which could be your own recording or just like a pre-recorded sound like from disney like frozen's let it go or like paw patrol or pokemon they want you to upsell so you want to ask oh would you like to add this would you like to add this and sometimes they want you to give it to the person first so they can try it out or so the child will hear it and will want it and the parent is more likely to purchase it at that point we get a lot of little kids but we also get teenagers or stuff i'll get to that in a second so the heart ceremony happens sound and sense will be placed in the bear as well and then you're also learning how to sew the bear up most of the bears have strings that you pull in a certain way in order to close the bear up this was the hardest part for me was trying to get that down because other bears don't have anything like that you actually have to sew it so you're given a needle and thread and i never got the hang of it i'll be honest i wasn't there for too long anyway but i never got the hang of the sewing part especially because you have someone there waiting for you so of course you're engaging in conversation as you're sewing the bear up but you know you want to make sure you're doing a good job you want to make sure you're not taking too long because there's going to be a long line especially during the holiday season that line was endless like it never stopped being a line uh, which is good because it makes time go by faster sort of but it's also hard because um i think you just get tired i got of just 
sewing nonstop, stuffing these bears. When you're stuffing it, it's a big, it's like a pipe that goes into the back of the stuffed animal and you press it down with a pedal or the child will press down the pedal and you're, sometimes you get fluffed, which basically means that either you accidentally opened up the hole or the child just pressed the pedal when they weren't supposed to and then like the stuff and then the stuffing just kind of hits you in the face that's called being fluffed and sometimes guests really find that funny because you know there's just like an explosion of stuffed parts on your body it looks like fluffy white snow so it's a fun process i don't like the upselling that's the only thing i don't like but that all that training happens within the first day and then they'll have you do it with the guests for the first time usually on a slower day usually afternoon tends to be a little slower than the evenings and then once you get the hang of it they'll leave you alone and they'll go do other stuff and you'll be on the stuffing machine or you'll be standing waiting for someone to arrive you always ask them an open-ended question at least that's what they want you to do and then help them choose a bear and then you'll be like all right i'll take you to the station and then you stuff it give it to the person and they move on to step number three which is going to the clothes aisle which is really cute there's a lot of accessories you can do shoes underwear dresses shorts skirts tuxes career items it's it the amount of customization is insane it's very cute like i said um i'm not a huge fan of kids but but in this aspect it definitely worked out everyone was really sweet everyone was really nice because of the location that i was in it's in the heart of manhattan um we got a lot of tourists 99 percent of everyone that walked in was a tourist some of them did not speak english um i speak spanish so that's great but i, I had a lot of italian tourists i had a lot of french tourists um it was still a lot of fun i think everyone's very open to trying to understand each each other and you learn a couple words here and there especially because I had to learn how to say wish in a couple different languages because that's the most important part of the ceremony you want the child to make a wish and they hold it in their hands and I think parents really love it I'm not sure how much this applies to other locations but do keep in mind that there's a lot of people watching you especially during the holiday season I think I worked Christmas Eve I worked either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day one of those and you have a line of people it never ends and some people will record you as you film the ceremony with the child or some people will be listening in to you do the ceremony for the kid in front of them so when that child gets to you you want to make sure you're not repeating the exact same thing i always try to switch it up just a little bit so they don't think that it's just um you know the same thing every single time because it shouldn't be there's different things you could say like i said you can make the child jump and give the heart a heartbeat like there's a lot of cute little things and you'll learn more as you go along that was the general process of bilibert it was a lot of fun um i was just not in the best mindset at the time i think i would have stayed a little bit longer um but i was just using it as a seasonal job once the year's eve ended all our hours got cut like they were cut like there was not many people coming in um it was just for those holidays that it was just non-stop people i think the following holiday would have been valentine's day but i left before that even came to be but it's a lot of fun it's just a really cute job and if you love kids it's great i never had a chance to work at the register because really all they needed was stuffers at the register though i know that you do have to pitch um a gift card so anyone who makes like an order of 20 dollars or more you're supposed to tell them hey um you're eligible for this promotion where you get a 10 dollar gift card that you can use at any time it doesn't expire um and all you have to do is pay five dollars there's different ways to pitch that again i never had to do that but you're you're ranked on that like that helps you out as a um worker there if you sell out of those gift cards and they like they'll highlight your good work if you manage to get enough people to sign up for that blah 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 so that's cool again i was never on the register i didn't have to do it even though i do have register experience it wasn't at build a bear so overall if you're looking to work at build a bear i think it's a great job it's super duper cute like i said the only thing i don't like is the scent they want you to tell the person that they last six months or they last a year i, I honestly think it doesn't last more than a couple days at least when i did it and i've tried because i bought my own bears too i I've tried rubbing that freaking like thing so much on all the items and it, it smells really good at the beginning and that's why they want you to put it on the outside so they can immediately smell it because if you're just putting it on the inside it's such a faint smell honestly that it's not worth it to me it's only three bucks though so if you're with a little child then i get doing it because it's like something immediate that they're hugging into their face and they're smelling it and it's really cute and it can make a really nice memory but if you yourself are going to buy a, a stuffed animal you know i love stuffed animals even though i'm like 27 i wouldn't recommend using the scent that's like the one thing that i don't really like upselling because i don't feel it's worth it 
even though, like I said, it's only three bucks, not a big deal if you do pitch. My biggest recommendation for applying and working there is being outgoing. They love chatty personalities because again, you're dealing with guests who are waiting right next to you as you build the bear, as you stuff it up. So you wanna make sure you're engaging in conversation and it's going with the flow and you can ask personal questions. I mean, not super personal questions. Are you, are you here visiting? Like they want you to have like a super interactive experience. That way it's more impactful for the guests. So if you show that you're outgoing and you're a people person, it's definitely gonna help you out to get the job. So that being said, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you very soon with another video.